Chris Amenir, The Legend of the Lost Bride. On the West Peninsula of North Wales, an area known as the Llyn, is a tiny isolated village called Nantgwetheren. Until recent times, the only access to it was a long, narrow road that wound down the hillside to the sea. It is a village thousands of years old, surviving through successive periods of agriculture, mining, and quarrying. It takes its name from Vortigern, or Gwytherin in the Welsh tongue, a 5th century Kentish king who fled to the area to avoid his enemies, and is believed to have been buried here. These days the village is a residential centre for learning the Welsh language and culture, and a popular destination for weddings. But in the year 1750, it was largely a simple farming community. Within this community lived two people who were soon to be married, Rhys Maredydd, a strong young farmer, and his fiancée, Meinir. They had lived in the Nant all their lives, and had been inseparable since childhood. They spent all their free time together, often at their favourite spot beneath a spreading hollow oak tree on the slopes of Ur Avil. Now, a date had been set for their wedding. They would be married in Clonog Church on the coming Saturday. The whole village were looking forward to the coming celebration. At this time there was a local tradition of the wedding quest. It was a sort of hide-and-seek game, where the bride would run and hide on the morning of her wedding. The wedding guests would search for, find, and escort the bride back to the church. That was how it was supposed to work. Saturday arrived, and the guests assembled in the church, and Mainir headed off for the hills to hide. After allowing for a suitable head start, the guests set off to find her. But to no avail. She was nowhere to be found. A frantic Rhys joined the search party. Hours passed and there was still no sign of her anywhere. A distraught Rhys continued the search for many months afterwards, slowly losing his mind. Whilst out searching one evening, Rhys was caught in a storm on Ereville and sought shelter under the same old oak tree that had once been their favourite spot. As he sat, curled up, sheltering from the driving rain, there was a mighty crack as a bolt of lightning struck the tree, splitting it in half. As the smoke and steam dispersed, Chris looked up and was struck with horror. The now split trunk revealed a skeleton within. The skeleton of Mania, still in her wedding dress. It is said that Chris collapsed in shock and later died of grief. They were buried in the same grave, together at last. In Nantgwetheren today, there stands a poignant memorial, fastened to a slab of old oak, lest we ever forget the tragedy of Rhys and Mainir.